Hello and uh, welcome to the K-Packers stand to look at the leader. Uh, the leader comes in three separate sizes, K5, K10, and here the, uh, the, real, the real giant of the family is K20. They're all um, fitted with RGBW four color LEDs, uh, an array of seven, 19 and 37. And the really cool thing about the leader is you can individually address and pixel map to each LED within the unit. Not only does it have um, great optical qualities, 14 to 70 zoom range on the K10 and K20, but this pixel mapping ability and some of the inbuilt macro effects make it a really, really useful tool to get out there and do some really dramatically different things with the product. Alongside that, you can also still control it quite ordinarily with a 20 channel mode, making it uh, a very usable full color spectrum wash light. Uh, obviously, the advantages of LED with its long life and low power consumption are great, but some of the vision effects that I'm sure you've, uh, you've already seen on the, on the TV channel are really absolutely spectacular, so that's the K range. So, well, uh, for these effects, you see that you have some LEDs on and some are off. So the adults could be used as background colors, for instance. They're unplayed with red and blue colors now, but it can be whatever you want to think for it. It's a strong and handy kind of view. Oh, uh, well, the other key point is speed. Uh, so we decide to keep the same kind of symbols than uh, uh, our shark is a key of, or the key weed. Um, the, it's really, really, really fast. It's placed in the uh, in, uh, uh, in chain direction. Well, it's two. Um, two means uh, it's, it's able to go between 40 and uh, 60 degrees. A uh, strong function, so a few, a few uh, strong uh, cubes have been designed for, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, conventional or spark simulation for uh, very high frequencies and it due to the LED sources. A straw valve, that's a random straw, there's nothing really new but always useful. Alright, a few more about mechanical construction on these lights. So if, we, if you have a look to, to the head, at least for our demonstration and to our display area, you're going to see the head has been uh, built in three main plates. So the first one, uh, uh, that is a cooling system, uh, is on the back of the unit. Then we have the central one, where we have the master hole with all uh, these things in it. And then we have uh, uh, the optical system in front of it. So three main layers for easier sex to the light. Uh, the other really uh, good thing is uh, it's about uh, uh, the master hole, uh, where we have a lot of different uh, uh, micro decibels able to place two single LEDs. So that means if you're going to have a damaged LEDs, or fruity LEDs, or single fruity LEDs, so you don't have to play around the master hole, but it's just better to swap uh, the small piece of boards uh, for two LED frames. Okay? So all the units are uh, uh, ready to host uh, uh, a sort of, uh, or a real Linux, uh, a wireless Linux receiver, so that's why uh, you got enough space where to locate it. And uh, a few different protocols uh, could be managed, like Artnet, uh, RDM, uh, and obviously DMX. Uh, but I just mentioned a few of them, so uh, I prefer to go straight to, uh, to the most interesting details.